both QPR and today's visitors of Premier League and Europa League Spurs making the trip to Loftus Road for the first time since the 20th. The Suma is alongside Saar in midfield. It's Werner and Johnson who provide the width with Bergvall behind Son up top for Tottenham. I can give you, but uh, they've got a they've got a team and they've got a squad and they're still missing a few, but they've got a team and a squad packed with quality, packed with experience. So we uh, can't wait to see them play against us. And we're underway, and it's Spurs who get us underway. Little night that was. And Spurs have it on the uh, near side with Johnson, goes in field towards Son. There's the first bit of pressure from Jack Colback. Here's Pedro Porro now just in front of the halfway. Halfway line, driving forward now from the centre. Lays it off to his right and finds Anderson, chips it back into the penalty area where the ball was claimed by Austin in goal for Spurs, but it was dangerous. There's a chance for Vernon now looking to dart down the left-hand side, left-footed low ball in, it was dangerous. And it's worked at the moment because it's Johnson playing it forward towards Saar in the penalty area. Low ball across, and important defending there from Jimmy Dunn. And it's going to be a Spurs corner to Werner. Back with Son, chops him to his left foot, still going Kim Min Son. And in the end with his effort, skies it over the crossbar. It's going to be a goal kick. And I tell you what, and Bergholm now plays it forward to Pedro Porro. He goes for the uh, early ball looking for Son. And uh, through the legs of Dixon Bonner going on to the penalty area. And Porro, and he's put too much on the cross. And that will sail away for what's going to be a throw on the far side for Rangers. Yeah, really poor cross. Was there to cover. And uh, will play it to his goalkeeper in Austin. On infield, he finds Johnson inside the area. Johnson has an overlapping run, but uh, way too much on the pass there for Bergville. And uh, straight out of the play, it goes for the Rangers. Yeah, but it's given away. Here's Dixon Bonner. He's urged to shoot. And uh, try to just flick it towards the far side for Paul Smith. It did take a deflection, yeah. though. And Rangers have their first corner. Floated in by Anderson towards Dunn. And here's Frey now. Can he get his shot away? As it's thundered in the air by Pedro Porro. Powell looks, looks to lose some fantastic control, but he's going to have to get back now because here comes Werner. Oh, another fantastic block from Steve Cook. Yep, brilliant again. A lot of pressure on him. And now Son's got room, and you don't want him having that at this in this kind of position. Well, you... Pedro Toro looking for the early ball towards Son. And uh, Steve Cook again to now out wide. to get it onto his right foot, Dunn. and Jimmy Dunn against Brennan Johnson. But it's Frey instead who rises highest. Rangers not quite done there. As Collie will deliver. And Donnelly doing the defensive duty. Basuma. And he'll get it back again here. Basuma, he's in for Tottenham. And he's shown his quality. Paul Nardi beaten. A smart move around the goalkeeper and really a fantastic move as a whole from Tottenham and with five minutes to go before half-time it is Spurs who take the lead at Loftus Road. Well it's a goal that um, just speaks of real quality you know throughout you know and I think I said after about 16-17 minutes Basuma 